What's up, everybody? I'd like to introduce you to a very special lady, my youngest sister. What'd you say her name was again? Mary. Mary. Welcome, Mary, to Tag's Magic. Welcome to my office, Mary. Um, I have a very special trick for you guys. It's a card trick um, that I'm actually not going to be a part of at all. I'm not going to touch cards. That's all Mary's job. So, Mary, can you please shuffle up the cards, um, give them a cut, mix them up a bit, and select any card and show it to the camera. I'm going to face this way. I'm not touching the cards. I'm not looking at them. Pick a card, remember it, and show it to the lovely people of YouTube. Okay. Alright, got it? Mm -hmm. Did you put it back somewhere in the middle of the deck? Yep. Alright, I have no idea what it is. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to deal seven face-up piles left to right. Okay. Um, and when you see your card, just remember where it is and keep on dealing them out, okay? Remember which file it's in. I'm not going to look again. Alright, which pile is your card in? Four. The fourth pile, okay. So I want you to pick up the last pile and just put it on top of the next pile, and then next pile, next pile, so on. Cool. Alright. And once you do that, I want you to flip the cards over and deal them out, same as before, and remember which uh, pile your card's in. Again, I will go back to not looking. Make myself useful. Okay. Alright, which pile is your card in? Five. The fifth? Okay. I want you to gather them all up again. Good work. Excellent work. You're natural. She must have a uh, family member in the biz. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I want you to deal them face down, just in a single pile. And stop. Flip over that last card, Mary. Show them, show them their card. Is that the card you chose? Yep. And that is magic. And look at the shock on her face. Man, I'm good. All right, guys. So this is an impromptu math trick, um, meaning that you can do this with any given, any random deck of cards. Um, it is self-working. That's why I didn't need to do anything. I was just able to give instructions. It works by itself. You just need to know a couple of um, important details about this trick, and there is a little bit of a math component that you need to do in your head. Um, very simple, um, a little bit of multiplication and adding, and that's it. Um, so let me tell you how to do this. Basically, it's all in the performance. Uh, that's going to be where a lot of this tutorial is going to be, so you're going to probably have to rewind a little bit. But um, basically what you're doing is you're taking three cards out of the deck first of all because it's called 49 you want 49 cards so you can have seven even piles with uh, seven cards in each one of those piles um, you let the spectator pick any card they want they can put it in the middle of the deck and they're gonna flip over like you saw face up noting what pile their card is in you don't know what card they have but they are going to tell you which pile it is in so we're gonna use the ace of the ace of hearts again and um, Sorry, real quick, let me just see. Yeah, we're going to put it in, just say, the sixth pile. So, we know that the uh, spectator's card is in the sixth position, and that is the first part of the math problem. So, we know six, and that is what we're going to remember, the sixth position. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, always going from left to right, we remember six. Now, we're going to have the spectator pick up the cards 
from all the way to the right, so the seventh pile, they're going to place that on top of the sixth pile. Then they're going to combine those two, put them on top of the fifth pile, and so on until they collect all of them. They have them face up, and again, they deal the cards down. Okay, so they're going to deal down the same way they dealt the first time. And they're going to tell you where their card is again, and let's say this time their card is in the um, second spot. Um, so we, so they see the Ace of Hearts, we don't know it's the Ace of Hearts, uh, even when they deal down, we don't know what their card is, we just know the position of their card. So, they tell us that their card is in the third spot. So now this is where the math comes into play. We know the third spot, so, um, we're going to take the second, the second time around, that pile they gave us, so number three, and we're going to subtract one from it, so two, and multiply that by 7. So we have 14. So we have 3 minus 2, sorry, 3 minus 1 times 2 equals 14, plus the first pile uh, they gave us, which was 6. So 14 plus 6, we have 20. We now know that their card, when dealt down, will be the 20th card down. Um, so again, we're going to, and I didn't actually do this right because I didn't uh, deal it out, it would take too long, but they gather up their cards uh, from right to left, putting it on top and on top and on top. All of these little things are very important to um, make sure you get it right. You're probably going to have to practice them um, and make sure you get it right by yourself a few times before you actually do this to a spectator. Um, and basically that will allow you to go 20 cards down and you can actually turn around and just based on hearing the cards, it's a little... Um, you kind of face the risk of mishearing or maybe they stutter a little bit. Um, but anyways, 20 cards down and you say, okay, flip over, flip over the next card and that will be your card and that is their card and it's amazing because you literally didn't touch it at all. It's completely self-working. You just have to be aware and make sure you give clear instructions so they do everything correctly, left to right, um, picking the piles up, right to left and dealing face up, uh, finally dealing face down. Very simple trick, you just have to give clear instructions, do the math properly in your head, and um, it turns out great. I know my sister didn't uh, have the craziest shock on her face, but I've been doing this trick to her all day, so she has seen it quite a few times. Um, another great idea you can actually do is you can um, you can actually do this trick over the phone, which is awesome. I haven't personally tried it, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it on some friends or family members. Uh, you just tell them to take three cards out of any deck, and you give clear instructions, and it works, um, it works, you know, the same, because, again, you don't actually have to touch it or even be there. Uh, so, great trick, great math trick, impromptu, you can do it anywhere you want, as long as you remember, um the sequence of uh, left to right, pick it back up, do everything right. So just practice it a bunch of times and you'll have no problems. If you do have any uh, problems with it, comment. I will be happy to answer. Thank you guys for watching. I will have a new video in two days. I know I'm three videos in this week. This is incredible. I am blowing myself away. I am so proud of myself. But anyways, enough about me. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you next time.